Hello Techies! Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to retrieve email messages from our Outlook by using Outlook Action. Alright, first of all, let me show you my Outlook over here. If you see on my screen, I have installed Outlook on my desktop. And after that, if you observe, in my inbox, I am having 100 emails as well as few of the mails are read already. Now, what I have to do, I have to retrieve all these emails by using Power Automate Desktop. How can I go ahead and do that? Let me show you practically how we will do that. First of all, to work on these Outlook actions, first step, we need to launch Outlook. Let's drag and drop this launch Outlook onto the workspace. By using this launch Outlook action, we can create a new Outlook instance for our particular actions, all right? Now, if you see after using launch Outlook, we can specify the instance in the variable product that is Outlook instance where flow variable. All right, let's click on save. Now to re retrieve my 100 emails, what is the action that we are going to use? Retrieve email message from Outlook. Let me drag and drop this retrieve email messages onto the workspace. Now, if you see over here, I'm having Outlook instance as my first parameter, right? What we have done, we have already launched our Outlook and we have stored the instance in the flow variable that is Outlook instance. That the same instance, we are going to use it over here. All right, now the account. This is the important one while you are going to work with the Outlook how we can get the Outlook account. Let me switch back to Outlook over here. Now, if you see over here, I'm having LT in all the mails, right? There, this is the account name. If you don't get it, again, go to the tools and find options over there. If you see over here, I'm having mail setup, click on mail setup and you can find email accounts, click on that. There you will find data files over here. If you select the tab data files, there you will find the name as LT. The same account, we have to give it over here in the account. All right, click on close. Now the same account, I'm going to give it over here as LT. Okay, so with the different different names, it has been there in your accounts. If you're having multiple Outlook accounts, they're based on the account name that you can go ahead and you can select it for and suppose. If I'm working for two different accounts, one for my organization purpose, another one for the vendor purpose. At that time, what I will do, I will create two accounts over there for the vendor as well as the organization purpose. In that case, for which account you need to work it out, that account name you will prefer over here. All right. Now the mail folder. From which folder that I need to retrieve all the mails or specific emails based on your filter. Now, if you see, I want to fetch it out from my inbox. All right. Now I will specify the same in mail folder over here as inbox. And now if you see the parameter retrieve, there are three options again we are having. One is all email messages you want to retrieve or 100 email messages only or read email messages only. Based on the requirement, we can go ahead and we can specify this. Now what I will do, I will select all email messages for, as a first step. And after that, what are the messages which are not read, will make it as read by using this option as mark as read parameter. But right now, to make you understand what I'm going to do, I'm going to disable this action. Now, about these remaining parameters, we'll talk about that one by one. For the time being, what I'm going to do, I'm going to retrieve all email messages and then I'm going to store all the emails in the list called retrieved emails. That is the variable produce. All right, let me click on save. Now what I will do, I want to know what are the mails are there in the particular retrieved emails flow variable I will use for loop, for each loop action. All right, over here, what I'm going to select, I'm going to use retrieved emails. The current e email will be stored in the current mail. I'm going to change the variable over here as current variable, current mail, and then I'm going to click on save. Now to display the current item, what I will do, I will use display message inside the for each loop. 
and after that i will simply say outlook mail message that is the message box title and i will display the current item subject or from sub from so i will select from which person that i have retrieved that mails all right let me select from and after that let me click on save now by using retrieve email messages from outlook action that what we are going to do we are going to retrieve all the mails along with unread as well as the read mails and then we are going to display in the message box if you observe in my outlook i am having more than 100 emails i can't show you all these things at the time of run time let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started and you can see by using retrieve email messages from the outlook that all the mails has been retrieved now if you see over here if i don't use the account name as ld if i'm going to use wrong account then it will throw an error but right now i have used the correct one so that it is not throwing any error all right now if you see i got the display message over here as from as no reply at the rate of github.com so i'm having hundreds of mails right now so that i'm going to skip this one over here just to make you understand that i have taken all emails over here all right let's click on okay and you can see one by one the mails are coming over here and it will be displayed in the display message all right now what i will do i will show you only under the emails how can we go ahead and do that let's double click on the retrieve email messages from the outlook action over here you can see retrieve is the parameter that we have i'm going to use under email messages only in this case what will happen it will retrieve only the under emails okay. all right now if you see over here i'm having seven under emails in my inbox i will get it the seven emails over here let me click on save over here what i will do i will take the count over here to make you understand all right now i'm going to use display message let's drag and drop this display message onto the workspace now i'm going to give 100 email count so that what will happen by using this we can know the count how many mails or under emails right now let me select the message to display parameter over here and in the retrieve emails i'm going to select count all right now let's click on the save now what will happen whatever i have retrieved the email messages from as under emails all the mails will be stored in the retrieved emails flow variable and then it will be displayed the count by using display message let's run the flow to see the output now if you see i am having 100 emails count as 7 has been given by the output over here let me go back to now you can see over here in the inbox that i am having 700 emails that is equal to the output what we have all right let's click on okay now what we will do we will see the read emails how many mails are there which has been read in the outlook account let me select the retrieve emails over here and then you can see read email messages only select that and then let's click on save now let's run the flow to see the output over here you can see i am having 100 uh, the title has given as 100 but it's a read email count that i am having 91 emails has been read as part of my outlook account that is with the name of lt all right now if you see in the retrieved emails that you will get it all the emails in the list of general values you can see over here all the emails which has been read by using retrieved email messages from the outlook action that all the mails has been stored in the variable that is retrieved emails list variable all right now i will show you one more action as part of this session let me double click on the retrieve email message from the outlook now if you observe i'm going to talk about the option mark as read when we will make it this one if you observe in my outlook i'm having 100 emails that is the count is 7 as we have seen right now right all the seven emails which are unread after retrieving the mails that i want to make them as read immediately because of if you see in the support project so what will happen we are going to get the emails and we have to respond back immediately and in that case by using this automation process what we can do we can read them and we can send the mails and then we will make it as read immediately that whatever the new mails are coming 
we don't want to make the burden on our flow. That's the reason we are going to make them as read once the unread mail has been read successfully. All right. So let me select the retrieve over here. I'm going to select only unread emails and make them as mark as read. And then I'm going to click on save. Now, if you see in my Outlook, I'm having 700 emails are there. Now, after running the flow, we'll see how many mails are still available for the 100 emails. All right. Flow execution has been started. Now you can see 100 emails is count is seven, but internally that has been by using retrieved emails action that we have made them as read. Let's click on OK. Now, if you see when I switch to Outlook that I can see inbox as zero. So how it is happened by using our retrieved email message from the Outlook action that we have made it with the option as mark address after reading all the mails or particular mails or unread emails that we can make them as mark address by using the option over there. I hope you understand how to work with retrieve email messages from the Outlook action as part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.